And welcome to episode 840. Behind me, we got Michael Cordex, 1968 slab side shovel, baby. Old school right there. Oh, to see those things back in the day running all over the roads. Great stuff. Great stuff right there. Later on, you're going to be redirected to the full show with Hollywood and China Dow getting into it. It's going to be a pretty good one, man. We're going to be talking about moves that women can do to get a guy interested, if you know what I mean. Uh, I would have done this video yesterday, uh, but we had to cover that Mongols Ninth uh, Circuit of Appeal opening arguments, but... It looks like Sonny got a huge send-off. They are estimating that 7,000 people came to the Speedway to send them off. And there was a celebrity there that has everybody up in arms on the leftist media, if you know what I mean. Yes, Tucker Carlson, he spoke at Sonny's memorial uh yeah we got that coming up i'm gonna let that play out but one of the reasons why i'm so pumped about talking about this is because there was a sheriff in a cowboy hat of all places in cali i've been raving about what the hell is going on there but he was coming out saying there was going to be all kinds of violence how bad everybody was and guess what there wasn't a single act of violence anywhere. Not a single act. And here this dude was all over the media bashing MCs, bashing the Hells Angels, and it costed taxpayers millions for this little idiot. It costed them millions of dollars. Oh, I would be pissed if I was a citizen in that town or county. Because here this guy was, he was really pumping it in the news media, and nothing happened. It's a beautiful thing when you see these schmucks go out there, run their mouths about how violent uh, clubs are, and then get made to look stupid. And then the news media even tries covering for them. Well, he was basing them decisions on their past. Get out of there. He looks stupid. You know what? Let's take a look at that video. You're going to laugh your ass off. A final group of bikers to leave the speedway could be heard fading into the distance. Everybody w was very well behaved. Sylvia Baker, a vendor on the inside at the event, working the margarita business, got there early and stayed the entire day. We set up at 6.30 this morning, got started at 12. Everybody was waiting. It was a great event. She offered a positive take on the event and the crowd. Well, they tipped well. That's always great. <laughs> Comparing the crowd at the Sunny Barger Memorial Service to some of the other large scale events and gatherings she's worked, Sylvia is saying this one stayed pretty calm. There was not even an angry bump of shoulders here. That sentiment in stark contrast to what the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office was prepared for. We're just uh, uh, prepared for. Um, Worst case scenario here. The sheriff basing his concern on gatherings over decades past involving the Hells Angels group. This is an event that, that, that we've made it clear that we believe could turn dangerous. And the history of these events prove that out. So for safety's sake, law enforcement countywide was beefed up. It's going to be into the millions of dollars that we've, we've spent to um, make sure that our, our, our citizens uh, stay safe. I feel like we wasted our tax dollars. It was not needed. But the sheriff saying in advance of the event that it's preparedness and the safety measures his office is taking that will keep anything negative from happening. From the standpoint of those on the inside, the event turned out to be a memorable one. People that hadn't seen each other in 30 years got together. It was very meaningful. 
Lots of people there shed some tears. Great memories were shared. We reached out to the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office to see how the night went. And although no one was available for comment tonight, the Sheriff's Office did post on its Facebook page that it only responded to a few minor incidents in connection to this event and that those incidents were dealt with, but that resources would be on hand throughout the county throughout the night. Reporting from Stockton, Melanie Wing. Well, there was only a few minor incidences, nothing uh, newsworthy to report. <laughs> and they don't want to give a statement anymore. It's like they ran into the closet, closed the door, and said, you know, what? Well, we screwed up, man. You know, we really wanted it to happen out there. That's the way most law enforcement are. They want something to happen, or they'll send in undercover CIs or something to make it happen. You know, kind of like Waco and all that crap. Yeah, didn't work out for them, did it? Didn't work out. I love it. Uh, let's go to this real quick before I show you another video. 7,000. Where did you go here? Man, what the hell happened here? You have to go back there. 7,000 attend funeral for Hell's Angel leader Sonny Barger at Stockton 99 Speedway. That thing was packed. What a send-off, man. What a send-off. Uh, thousands of people gathered at Stockton 99 on Saturday for the funeral of uh, Ralph Sonny Barger, longtime president and founding member of the Oakland chapter of the Hell's Angels. Uh, it was a, I loved it. Uh, it was a event that San Juan Keen uh, County Sheriff's Office warned on Friday could become dangerous. Nothing. Nothing. How do you feel, man? You look like a moron. Uh, let's see here. But those in attendance cried, shared stories, and remembered the 83-year-old Modesto uh, native who died in June of cancer. Even though he was blind in one eye and he packed his oxygen well, when his kickstand was up, you better catch up, one speaker said. Uh, as of early evening on Saturday, no significant incidents had occurred at the funeral, a spokesman for the sheriff's office said. I bet he was pissed that nothing happened. And this is Sherrick Patrick Withrow. Yes. So next time you guys are going to the voting booth, maybe you should think about the millions of dollars that this guy wasted just to get in the news. <laughs> what a dork. Uh, there you can see some of the speakers. Uh, some of the angels, their uh, friends, all that type of stuff listening. Uh, it was a pretty good event from what I could uh, maintain. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it was just a regular type of deal that they tried to really, really make the public afraid of. I, I would. I'd be pissed if I were you guys. Uh, now, Fox's News' Tucker Carlson speaks at the Hells Angels president's funeral, and we got that entire, you know, little spiel that he did, and boy, are they mad that he spoke at it. But anything to go after him, they go after him all the time in the media because he speaks the truth, and they don't like it. So let's go ahead, take a look at it, see what it has to Any say. to me, he, he is an American legend. He is what freedom and the, the rebel in us and, and the heart and soul of what America is about, and that is to do what you want and appreciate what this land is, and that is democracy. That is the, the freedom of anything from speech to travel to lifestyle. That's what he stands for. Oh, Stay loyal which made me emotional reading it, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor. Stand tall, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor. And I thought to myself, if there is a phrase that sums up more perfectly what I want to be, 
what I aspire to be and the kind of man I respect, I can't think of a phrase that sums it up more perfectly than that. And, and I thought that came from Sonny Barger, the famous outlaw biker that every mom in my neighborhood was scared shitless of as a child. That, that's, that's Sonny Barger's worldview? Why aren't we hearing that from the people who run the country? Why is it left to Sonny Barger to say, stand tall, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor? The President of the United States should be saying that every single morning as he salutes the flag, but only Sonny Barger is saying it. And I thought to myself, I want to pay tribute to the man who spoke those words. And when I was invited to this funeral, I cleared my schedule and I thought, I don't care how hard it is to get from Maine to Stockton. I'm going and I'm here and I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having me. And I hope that you continue to represent those views. Amen. You know, in the beginning of that one uh, where the girl's speaking, that's what a lot of people felt about Sonny. And the way they looked at him and his biggest thing about how he lived life the way he wanted to live. And I think uh, Tucker really put that in perspective when he was up there talking about Sonny. He didn't even know Sonny, but because of the letter that he wrote about how he felt about freedom, that got Tucker on a plane out there to speak at this memorial. And I, you know what? That is what the older generation was all about. You know, you had Sonny, Taco, you had uh, JR. All those older fel fellers really believed in this country, even though law enforcement didn't like them worth a crap. They would harass them. They would beat them type of guys. And those guys are really the ones that paved it for the rest of us. The old timers, man, the hardcore old uh, gray beards, they really lived life the way they wanted to live it. And hopefully we get something out of all this where you listen to those words, man. You listen to the words of the older guys, learn what the hell you're supposed to be like or uh, look up to, if you will. So that is the closing chapter on Sonny Barger, the memorial, 7,000 people, and he was able, even in death, to make the cops look stupid. I love it. <laughs> I do. I love it. We're going to go to the second half of the show right now with Thank Shining you. for the second half of this show, Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Mayhem. Shining Owls coming in the studio right now. Rock on.